Let's face it, this year has been rough, but we can finish 2020 on a high with a fantastic Christmas dinner. My name is James Howe from Chef at Home and this is my ultimate guide to Christmas dinner 2020. In this first video of this five part series, we're gonna be looking specifically at the potatoes. Now I'm gonna be showing you three. I'm gonna be showing you a roast potato, a mashed potato, and a dauphinois. Now, if you're like me, I'll be doing all three. You can do just your favorite, that's entirely up to you. But before I get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. These videos will be coming out every day over the next five days to help you be 100% prepared for the big day. So now that's out of the way, let's get cracking. So first off, I'm gonna get my roast potatoes done and simultaneously start on the mash as well. And you'll see what I mean by that in a second. So the first thing I'm going to do to these is I'm just gonna peel them. So I've got some large jacket potatoes. When they're this sort of size, I would tend to say one per person is absolutely ample and one for good luck. Once peeled, grab yourself a pan and just chop your potatoes down into quarters. A little bit of salt over them really start seasoning early. Then cover with water and get them onto the boil. Now, after about 20 minutes, uh, the potatoes are now up to a rapid boil and the knife is just passing through them. Hardly any resistance. So now, pull those off the heat for a second and just put a strong metal roasting dish onto the heat. Good glug of rapeseed oil. Just let that oil get nice and hot. If you've got any dripping left over from roasting meats, it'd be a perfect time to add this in. A few good balls of garlic. Just get them starting to roast. Three pan of water. Just grab out about half the potatoes. So in the tray, I'm just gonna start the browning process. So they're gonna be lovely and fluffy on the inside, nice and crisp on the outside. Get a spoon in there, you'll see them starting to break down a little bit. And a good amount of salt and pepper over the top, really help crispen them up. Once the sides are starting to become a bit rough and a bit fluffy, quick shake. Make sure they're loose in the tray so the grease is doing the job. And then into the oven. Top shelf, 200, about 40 minutes. So that's my roast potatoes, beautifully crisp. These can be ready to serve now, or I can warm them through the next day. Moving on to our dauphinois, the first thing we need to do for that is to create the sauce. So into a saucepan, good glug of cream, then about half a peeled onion, just crush some garlic, about three bulbs, should be enough for this amount, which is about 500 ml of cream-ish, and a good sprig of rosemary. Splash of white wine. Clump of pepper and some salt. So what this is going to do is just going to infuse that cream. So it's a lovely flavour, all the rosemary, the garlic, it's absolutely stunning. This is the essential part of the dauphinois that a lot of people miss out. But when you do it like this, you really notice the difference. So onto the heat onto the heat on a low light and just let that simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes. Now that the cream is infused, we're gonna be able to layer up our dauphinois. Now there's a few, few ways you can slice these so they are thin enough. You can carry on with the peeler and just take slices off. But to me, that, that feels like it's gonna take me forever. So what I'm going to do is just chop them down. So I'm gonna slice them in half long ways, flat side down and just glide the knife through. If you've got a mandolin, even better, and then you can do all that juicy crap. Just watch your finger ends, please, for Christ's sake. No one needs to be an A&E on Christmas Eve. So just put your cream off the heat, and just let that sit and relax a little bit. Now in a normal year, 
they'll probably be doing a lot more food for Christmas. There are probably going to be a lot more people around. So I'd probably use something this size and get at least 12 to 16 portions. But this year, the world has gone mad. So this year I'm going to be using things like these. They're cheap and there's a lot less washing up at the end. So into your tray, just start layering up. Just lay the potatoes in, slightly overlapping. So you've completely covered the bottom of the dish. Once you're there, a little bit of salt, a little pepper, and a spoon, and just a, just a nice coating of your infused cream. So we're going to get all those lovely flavours in between each layer of the potato, so nothing's missed out. And just repeat this until you've got all your potato in the dish. So for me, it's probably going to be about three layers, I reckon. If you've got any of your infused cream left, keep that to one side for a little bit. That's going to come in really handy shortly. And final season. And when the time comes, into the oven. This will take about 45 minutes. On about 200. I've just taken this dolphin wire out of the oven. A nice crisp top to it. Potatoes, absolute spot on, beautifully cooked. Now we can serve this straight away, or if you are preparing this the night before, leave them to cool before you store them in the fridge. If you do make them the night before, when you pull them out of the fridge in the morning, they'll be lovely and set, so you will be able to slice them into lovely neat portions. Or if you want to be really chefy, get yourself a ring and cut circles out. But the dauphinois is done. Our third and final potato in this video is the mash. Now earlier on we put the roast potatoes into boil and I only took half out of the pan. The other half is prepped for my mashed potatoes. So I'm trying to save myself a little bit of time here and make life as easy as possible. Less faff, less mess, less washing. If you can do things two in one, absolutely smashing. To get that pan of boiling potatoes back onto the heat, get it back up to a rapid boil and get it to a point when you stick a knife in them they are falling apart. Absolutely perfect. So now we need to strain these off through a sieve or a colander. Now once drained off, back into the pan. The residual heat in the bottom of the pan is going to help just dry them out that little bit more, make them that extra bit more fluffy. Arm yourself with a masher and just break them down. Because they're fully cooked, you're barely going to need to put any pressure on. The masher should just glide through them. Now when you get here, you've got a choice. You can go a classic route, uh, knob of butter, splash of milk, salt, pepper, jobs are good. Or you can just lift them that little bit more and if you've got some left, all that infused cream we had earlier, don't let that go to waste. Into the mash and just stir that in. Last bit of salt and pepper, good mix and I promise you that will taste absolutely amazing. If you're doing this on Christmas Eve, just heat it up the next day into a dry pan with a little knob of butter and just gently heat it through. So that chefs is our three potatoes done. We've got our mash infused with the lovely cream and the rosemary and the garlic. And we've got our crispy fluffy roast potatoes and we've got our classic potato dolphin one. Give them a try, let me know how you get on and I will see you tomorrow. Well, we're going to be looking at the traditional vegetables and making them absolutely spectacular for this Christmas. I will see you then.